All right, how's it going, Teal's students and educators and other folks who are here on my channel. Today, we are gonna be demoing the Unit 5 project, which is basically a play on Space Invaders, if you ever played it. Um, some basic stuff here you can see on my project. Um, we have a start button to begin with, and then you start with control of a dog down here at the bottom. Um, so the whole idea of this game is that you are controlling this character down here at the bottom. And then you have what we would call space invaders up there at the top. And as you can see, my space invaders right now will shoot um, cups of water, which are basically their projectiles. And then my character can shoot uh, different, you know, projectiles, which are pencils. Um, so the goal of this project is to basically use cloning so that we can make these projectiles that you keep seeing falling here, as well as the different um, projectiles that my dog here shoots. Um, so you'll see in just a second too, we have levels within the game. So what you just saw was level one and now I am on level two. So here level two, you can see there's an extra cat that is flying across the top and uh, they speed up a little bit. So of course the goal is you don't want the cats to get all the way to the bottom one and then two, you want to eliminate all the cats as they come down. So you're going to see me do that in just a second and uh, hopefully I can actually do it. Not only do you want to eliminate the cats, you also want to make sure you don't get hit by their projectiles. So you can see here I have a screen that says you win. Um, that's the basics if you win. Now I'm going to show you what happens if you get hit. So here I'm just going to let the uh, dog at the very bottom get hit by the, um, by the different projectiles and I'll start losing lives. And you can see it's game over after I lose three lives. So. Um, there's a few things that are missing from this. It's definitely not intended to be a full project. It's more so intended to show you the basics of what you need to do to hit unit five. Um, we'll go over these different stuff, uh, you know, that we built to uh, make this project in our summary videos. Um, but I'm just going to go over some of what's in the syllabus and the checkpoints. So um, the required checkpoints that we have, the first one is we want the player and a single invader moving correctly. So that's the first checkpoint which you can see here we have uh, you know, down pat. We also wanna be able to clone the invaders and have the entire group move cor correctly. You can't really tell obviously just because you know we're seeing the final product and not the code, but those cats up there at the top as well as the projectiles that they're firing are all clones as well as the pencils that my dog shoots. Um, and then the third and final required checkpoint is we wanna be able to file projectiles from both the player, which you can see I can do right there and from the invaders which is random and you can see they've been doing that this whole time they keep dropping down glasses of water on me trying to hit me um, a few extra things so we do have of course a grading scheme and rubric here um, there's several things that make this a complete project we want the keyboard control the player which i have we want multiple invaders that fly in formations um, you know we want to uh, you know have those invaders die quote unquote when they get hit by a pencil um, or in this case projectiles um, we also want to have the game end and a new screen appears in the players out of lives here We don't do that here. I just have my main screen We want the level to change when the invaders are destroyed. So we have that in the sense that our uh, you know when our um, When the invaders are destroyed we basically just spawn in new ones and then of course they do speed up in each level and uh, You know if you have points within the game they increase with each level so again I want to stress, you know, if you're looking at this game and if you copy me directly, you won't get full points. You do need to implement a few more things I just don't have here. But in my opinion, there's some of the more elementary things and it, you know, still makes your code, you know, complete, still makes it a very complete and final project. So please do tune in um, for the full walkthrough to see how we built this and how we, you know, figured out some of the problems that we have within cloning. And uh, I look forward to it.